Wing anti-ice protection is provided by 6th and 13th stage bleed air from the number 1 and number 3 engines. Either engine is sufficient to supply wing anti-ice protection. Wing anti-ice is controlled by the wing anti-ice switches. The wing anti-ice valve position lights function as switch valve agreement lights. Wing anti-ice should not be selected after takeoff until climbing through 400 feet AGL. Continuous ignition is required any time anti-ice is turned on or off. When engine operation stabilizes and flight conditions permit, continuous ignition may be turned off. Prior to the first flight of the day, the wing anti-ice switches and valves are confirmed closed. With the wing anti-ice switches in the closed position, rotating the selector to wing illuminates the wing anti-ice valve position lights. This confirms that both anti-ice valves on each engine are in agreement with the switch positions. Moving a wing anti-ice switch to the ground test position momentarily extinguishes the valve position light while the valves are in transit. When both valves fully open, the valve position light illuminates. Once the aircraft is above 400 feet AGL with the ignition switch on, moving the wing anti-ice switches to open momentarily extinguishes the valve position lights while the valves are in transit. When the valves fully open, the valve position lights illuminate, confirming switch and valve positions are in agreement. The light selector should remain in the wing position as a reminder that wing anti-ice is in use. When wing anti-ice is no longer required, place continuous ignition on and ensure the light selector is in wing. Moving the wing anti-ice switches to close momentarily extinguishes the valve position lights while the anti-ice valves are in transit. When the valves are closed, the valve position lights illuminate. After the wing anti-ice valves are confirmed closed, rotate the selector to off unless engine anti-ice is in use. Wing anti-ice duct temperatures is monitored using the anti-ice duct temperature selector and indicator. The location of the temperature sensors are shown schematically on the control panel. In flight, if excessive temperature is sensed in the wing anti-ice supply duct, a separate sensor illuminates the anti-ice duct overheat light independent of selector position this light is advisory only and has no effect on the valves. On the ground, should an excessive temperature be sensed in the wing anti-ice supply duct, an additional sensor calibrated to a lower temperature illuminates the anti-ice duct overheat light and automatically closes the wing shutoff valves. If wing anti-ice is on during landing, a ground sensing switch closes all four valves at touchdown. Should a wing anti-ice valve fail to open, the valve position light remains extinguished, indicating a valve switch position disagreement. If a wing anti-ice valve fails to close, the valve position light will also remain extinguished due to the valve switch position disagreement. The minimum RPM for icing conditions with only one engine supplying wing anti-ice is 75% N1. Some aircraft are equipped with a wing anti-ice automatic trip-off system. This system is controlled by the wing anti-ice auto trip-off switch. With the switch in normal, should the wing anti-ice duct rupture within the pressurized area of the aircraft, 
the wing anti-ice auto trip-off light illuminates and all wing anti-ice valves automatically close. These valves cannot be reset in flight. Tests and operational checks of this system are performed by maintenance personnel only.